about the other question sorry brother i was busy last few days so sunday sunday is a pagan holiday samas is the day of the ten commandments the day that god made at creation isaiah chapter 66 verse 22 23 says for as the new heavens which i will make shall stand before me says the lord so every sabbath every flesh shall come to worship before me says the lord here the bible is saying god is saying that every sabbath in heaven everybody's going to worship him so sunday is a pagan holiday but now we need to follow jesus and not man the pope changed the day in 321 constantine changed the day from saturday to sunday the pagans were worshiping satan satanic holiday and the christian saturday even in 300 years after jesus died so the emperor constantine wanted to unite everybody so he made compromise and the christians compromised many of them they followed sunday knowing it's not they never kept sunday before it was a pagan holiday and they mixed everything and now the papacy is a mix it is babylon babylon is a confusion babylon is a place where you you have they talk about jesus but everything is paganism is from satan is from uh, uh the time of babylon the the fish mitre and everything <clears throat> what's happening now brothers and sisters many churches almost every church evangelical everything they believe that if you believe in jesus only then you're going to be saved it is a big big lie big lie because there is a test for everybody it's called the three angels message in the book of revelation there are two churches revelation 12 the true church revelation 17 18 the false church babylon most christians are in babylon the false churches when if they don't come out revelation 18 says come out over my people that to you partake not of her sins that you receive not of her plagues the people that remain in babylon they will receive the plagues they will receive the, the, the mark of the beast they will receive the anger of god and they're gonna be destroyed so this is a big message for and sisters because uh, people can say oh but it's not, that's not possible i'm a christian i go to church i give tithes no 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 god asked you to do something to follow the truth many many of the doctrines that were false so God now is repairing the bridge. God now is asking you, brothers and sisters, that you are not in the Roman church. God is asking you to study if the things you believe is from the Bible. You're going to find out, brothers, that many beliefs, they're pagan beliefs. Uh, this is called Babylon. God will never introduce in his church false doctrines. The book of Revelation chapter 12 and the whole uh, chapter explaining to us the story of the true church of God from the beginning of the apostles to the end of time. This church has no false beliefs because it is kept by God. The apostle Paul says the church is the pillar and ground of the truth. The time, if Satan can introduce himself with false doctrines and beliefs, then it means that it is no more God's church. And it is time to leave the churches question for all you questions when did the daughters of babylon fall we find this in revelation chapter 14 the message number two and he says babylon is fallen is fallen what happened for babylon to fall were they rejected message number one message number one was given to all kindred tongue people nation everybody on earth message rejected by almost all christianity so message number two is saying well now because of rejection of message number one message number two is saying babylon is fallen no it's fallen church so i explain many times falling paul says the the church stands on the truth if you stand on your feet you're not falling and uh, so on what does the church stand 
on the truth. It means if the church is not standing on the truth, what is it doing? It is falling. Why would it fall? Because because he rejects the truth. God sends message, people reject. This is the fall. This is calling the fall. They fall from the truth. Once the church falls so much from the truth, it cannot be called the church of God anymore. This is the message, brothers and sisters. It is mind-boggling. It is fascinating. It is the most incredible message. How can it be that people that call themselves Christians, how can it be that most Christians on the earth that say, I'm a Christian, I go to church, they are in Babylon, and these churches are called the, 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 the house of devils, and, and Satan is the instigator of these churches, and these people have to come out because God will destroy these churches. How can it be? This is crazy. People that, that look at these people as Christians, in fact, Jesus is saying, they are not. These churches are led by Satan, and they need to come out. And that unless they do, it is a very terrible message, but Jesus says, uh, the further message says, if any man worship the beast, the papacy, or his image, union of church and state, and receive the mark, Sunday worship, on the forehead or in his hand, the same shall receive the wrath of God poured out without mixture. The only time in history that God ever will send his anger and his judgment and his punishment without any mercy, it is in the fraudulent message. It is upon the Protestant fallen churches and the papacy and the Catholic Church. And the rest of the world we will join together. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark on his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God poured out without mixture. And they shall be, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, day and night. And they have no rest, day and night, who worship the beast, the papacy and his image, you know, worship uh, church and state, and, and, and receive the, mark, the, the number of his name, 666, Sunday worship. Oh, brother and sister, this is such an amazing message. It is the most startling message in the Bible. So startling that, number one, everybody on earth we have to make a decision. From the lowest person to the president of the earth, they have to make a decision to follow Jesus or to follow the fallen churches and Satan. The leader of these churches is Satan. Ellen G. White, the prophet, says, the masterpiece of Satan do you, question, Francis, do you know what is the masterpiece of Satan creation? Ellen White says the masterpiece of Satan creation is the Catholic Church. And people are so stupid in this world, they judge by appearance. Look, this man has a doctor suit, he's a doctor. This man wears a priest suit, he's a priest. No, don't look at appearance, brothers and sisters. Look deeper. God looks on heart. The man is so weak, he just looks at the appearance and he thinks the Pope is a holy man. The Pope is a man, man that goes on heart. They think the Pope is holy, holy, holy. They think the Pope is, uh, he has a direct relationship with, to, with Jesus Christ. They think the Pope is filled with the Holy Spirit. Yet the Bible calls him the man of sin. Can you imagine? Does the Bible call Anton Levy or the Church of Satan the man of sin? No. Wars, the Pope, the man of sin, 666. Vicarius Fili Dei. In Latin numbers, V is 5, U is 50, and you count everything. The Vicar of the Son of God, which is the name of the Pope in the Tiara, you add up everything, 666. A Latin Basilica, the Latin Church, 666. This is the masterpiece of Satan creation, brothers and sisters. But the uh, but this 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 mother, she had daughters, so the daughters need to resemble the mother. Does Hinduism is Hinduism the, the, the daughter of the Catholic Church of papacy the Antichrist? No, because it doesn't look like it. Is Buddhism is atheism the daughters of, of the Catholic Church? No. 
So if the daughters look like the mother, so they have the same belief, Sunday worship, eternal hell, immortality of the soul, and all these things, which and all the new doctrines, which like the, the rapture, speaking in tongues, all these things, they come from the mother church. The daughters are fallen, the mother is fallen. This is the false prophet, is a Protestant churches. Babylon is a mother church. And all these, he says in Revelation 18, they are a hold or the house of every evil spirit. So we have to believe the Bible and sisters, what he says, and it is a more startling message. <clears throat> Number one, God says the judgment has come. Daniel 8 14, the time when Jesus is in the most holy place, deciding your destiny and my destiny. Message number two, <clears throat> believe and understand that all the Sunday churches they are fallen away from the truth. God is not in these churches. Number three, understand the Sabbath is the seal of God. Sunday is the mark of the beast. This is the most important message that's going to be on television, every television, every newspaper, all over the internet, very soon. Everyone on earth will know this topic and have to decide. Jesus or governments and, and the, the fallen churches. And you have to decide too, brothers and sisters. So study this topic. It is called the Strangers Message. Because if you refuse the Bible and Jesus on this topic, you receive Mark of the Beast and seven as plagues, and you're going to end up destroyed in hell. Don't be destroyed, brothers and sisters. Don't be destroyed. Don't be. You spend all your life going to church, paying the tithes, helping people, and doing all kinds of works just to end up in hell. Why? It's the time now to follow Jesus fully. Follow him in a most holy place in the sanctuary. But Jesus now is deciding your destiny. When this work of investigating judgment is finished in the most holy place, Jesus will put the robe of King of Kings and Lord of Lords and will come back. And the end will soon happen on earth. Very soon the end of the world is coming. And the nations, the tribes, the kings, the, 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 the military leaders, the, the, the great men will hide because they know the end is near and they will be totally destroyed forever and ever and ever, no more to live. They will be as if they have never been.